Oh, scanner distortions. Where could it be? Oh, that's like... Oh, nice. Come then. Meet your death. I need some crits. He's quite strong. I can't tell if I'm. There we go. Oh. Did you hear something? This is right coming right to you then. Are you at? Oh, you are. What, what do I get to know about you then? I don't. How does knowing the future help in combat? Does it show you the path that they're going to be walking? Maybe. That's where we need to be going. Up there. We'll be taking a few things out on the way though. And you know what? We need to switch power here. Uh, we need this one. Just to highlight some stuff. Living stuff. That is it, right? Yeah. What's the range on this thing? else <laughs> uh, oh there we go I need a crit oh no is it fighting oh it is there you go my kill. Oh well. What are these things? Nothing. The range is pretty decent. So it just shows you there's nothing around. Temp this just all new. Highlights how little we still know about the Starborn and the artifacts. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, we've seen these before. Not again. Oh, I thought it crashed again. It's crashed two times today. Saying that, before we go in here, auto save. <laughs> Don't tell me it's going to crash off. Oh. <laughs> Dear. How's it going, sweet? There's been back-to-back -back powers, back-to-back -back artifacts. Constellation doing work now. All right, let's do what we've done five times before, four times before, I don't know. This is our fifth time, I think. still don't think we've got like an overpowered power yet. One that's just absolutely ridiculous. Like being able to make people float, dash, see the life force, you know, maybe see a little bit of the conversation. It's all good, but come on. Feed me. 
Oh, and Dredge is going to get a power. to quickly see what the power is in case we want to use it. Creators peace fill your foes with the silent calm of the universe compelling them to temporarily abandon their weapons. Well, Starborn's going to pop up in a second. We are the worthy. Your abilities are truly amazing. What are you saying? What were you saying? <laughs> All right. This one's interested. We got to test the powers on him. So he thought the star bomb might have something. That was cool. Hey, this is cool. Oh. Nice. All right. Creator's peace. This is... Uh, what's better, having them float or just totally making them mute or just null and void friendly for a second? And if you had the quantum essence regeneration, you could just keep spamming it over and over. A silent calm. This might be the most powerful one yet. Making them float's cool, like anti-gravity, but getting them to put their own weapon away. Now we're talking. All right. Uh, I mean, we're going to have to do the long journey now. These are all just the... Uh, not, not what they call anomalies. There we go. All right. Let, oh, yeah, we can't. Teleport while we're jumping. All right. Any more? <laughs> Things gonna stop us from going to, what is it, Piazzi 7 or somewhere like that? Uh, let's have a look. No, unearthed. The emissary has given me a key to the base. Oh, yeah. We gotta go to the moon. I mean, look how far this is. It's far, level 40 as well, on hard mode that we're playing, so this is, it's going to be fun. Or do we go to the moon? First, unearthed. Hello, do we still have our outpost there? Nova Galactic Research Center. All right, let's do it. Why not? Hey. Oh, hey, you. We try and get another ship. Whenever we get there, it never works out for us. They always leave. How far are you? Oh, is it? Are they? Oh, no. I thought those on fire. Three hundred meters, that's not bad at all. So you need to really leave the people on the outside and just go onto the ship, right? I see him. 
can I go that high and then <gasps> what are they doing I don't know who they are They have no clue. Why can't I see him? Well, you have no idea I'm here. Who are these guys? <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you got a nice ship. Now that looks decent. If there's a three split, no, there isn't. Damn it. Hmm. No, all right. I think it's gotta be that. And then that one fits. Yeah, all right. Two and then no, it can't be that. It looks like it's that, and then we got this one. Let's go. <laughs> well, try and take off now. Hey. Very nice. Dumbbells, these guys work out. Who are these guys? What should be friendly? They're not the UC or anything, are they? Oh, you're not even home. Demos. Wait, where's the uh, jump seat? No, where's your storage? Okay. Yoink. He's still outside. <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> uh, can I see what this ship can hold? So we, we take off. This is ours now, right? We've done this... Did we do this with the Eclipse? We did, didn't we? It's been so long. It's still there. <laughs> you thought it'd be, hey! So I was going to hold 800. What can this hold? This is now your home ship. Oh. Okay, I don't... It's got some cargo on the side. Cargo hold. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, wow. It's like 50% better. Wow. It just doesn't have any missiles on it. Cool. It's called Atlas. Still got the Eclipse. Uh, what's it? Is that O and T? What is that? Q and T. Q. There we go. Still got the Frontier as well. <laughs> oh, my other ship was worth more. Not enough fuel. Hull. 
capacity. Look at that. I mean, that's all we really care about. It is nearly 50%. Register. Done. Atlas. My new Atlas ship. Let's go. With a lot of cargo. Right. I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe we'll take it back to the... Uh, we'll go to... Uh, Aqu not Aquila. Uh, new Atlantis. Because now that we're... Uh, a what do we call it when I got I got the penthouse didn't I not new order first order first citizen new citizen first citizen or something like that so I think we get some uh, money off the parts all right oh okay uh, anyway we want to be back there this <laughs> can we maybe see the guy walking around uh why would it allow me to, uh... I'll just open this. There we go. Fifty percent more cargo. That's insane. Oh, wait. You landed straight here. How come you didn't land... Here when I came, in my other ship. What? You not like my other ship or something? <laughs> I swear. That's where you made me land last time. Oh, maybe... Maybe there was a ship in there, so I couldn't? Cool. Uh, so we're, we're here. I've got a key for somewhere. Oh. Wherever it may be. It said moon key or somewhere, right? That's what we got. I'm guessing in here. Very cryptic moon basis. What information are we going to find out? anyone. At least the stab on. No one? All right. You ready to have your mind blown, I feel? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's going to pop up on that screen. Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see just how many decimal points of PI it can calculate. Or PI. <laughs> PI. How many points of pi it can calculate and how many bits of encryption it can brute force or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation but there will be time for that later for now i need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline we're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client that should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored project prism launch play the recording on the roof we're happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9pm EDT. Reminded to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on radio uh, for the launch. We'll be recording the event, so be on your best behaviour. Oh, I for sure thought someone was going to crack up on that. It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. Yeah, I'll just see if there's a little bit of loot around. Any little bit of loot for old Zum Zum? Sealant. Woohoo. Come on, there's got to be some weapon crates or somewhere around here. 
Uh, Alright, we're going on the roof. Can we get to the roof from here, maybe? No. So I guess it's just uh, going out. Oh, no way. Space trucker hall wrap. Coffee bag. Sealant. Crap, crap, crap. Oh. Oh, I nearly walked past that. Master science crate. If only we had master and lock picking. Oh, yes. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Show me the money if we can. That looks interesting if there's uh, that one. All right. I'm liking that so far. Oh, wait. That just messed up. I'm liking this so far. Then we've got that one, maybe. Need a, a cuter angle than that. I'm gonna have to use the two singles. Ah, uh, this is not gonna work out, I don't think. Oh, once it wait. Okay. Are we actually doing this? This is not right. This cannot be right. No way. We're, we're winged this. No way. Ah. That was a weird one. I feel like I failed every single step of the way. Oh, let's go. Okay. Ah, fair enough. I hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Don't think anyone's here, Andredra. Just saying. Alright. Got a radio message on the roof. Let's lock her in. Hey, hey, hey. Engine spin up time almost complete. Total time 5 minutes 22 seconds. Right on schedule. How are the helium-3 valves holding, Nova? We double-checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five. Some of the Four, earliest space flights three, were likely coordinated two, from here. One. <laughs> Strange to be standing on such a unique bit of history. Canaveral, are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. NASA access code Mission status unearthed. Go to NASA! All right, can we go straight from here? The first grav drive was developed with the help of NASA on Earth. I need to find out how this is connected with the artifacts. Okay, where's this on Earth? Oh, no way. So we haven't actually been to Earth yet. I remember coming, one of the first things I did in this game was just explore the moon and put an outpost down. Oh, we didn't actually go to Earth. Now we are. Let's go. Uh, any specific part on there? There we go, NASA. Oh, it's doing that again. There we go. Up 
to four different mods can be installed on a spacesuit. We've done mods on weapons, we haven't really done any mods on spacesuits, have we? Earth. <laughs> Where we're going. Did the Starborn already made contact like really early? Or Starborn give him the technology for the grav drive? Find a way inside. All right, are we uh, we're not encumbered, are we? No, we're not. You're fine. It's got a ship that. Why was that abandoned? To think that towers like this were once absolutely essential to ensuring our survival. And now here they are, buried and forgotten. Cool. 